Hi Power Probers, I'm Jeff, CEO here at Power Probe. Today we'll explain the arc detect and the three wire continuity test features on the Power Probe hook. This video will be about seven minutes in length and to do that we want to introduce to you one of our valuable team members, Jeff Kogan. Uh, go ahead Jeff, take it from here. Thanks Jeff. As he stated, we are going to start with arc detection mode. You may have noticed during the use of your hook, at times the hook will not supply voltage or ground and will emit a strange toggle tone. Let me show you what, it, what I'm talking about. Congratulations, you have found arc detection mode. As you know by now, when you first power up your hook, it is in the power probe hook mode. What you may not have known is that this also means arc detection is turned on. This is the hook's way of alerting you, the tech, that a condition may not be safe to apply full current to the circuit. If the circuit you are on is arcing, the hook will limit the amount of current to the circuit and alert you with a fast toggle tone. So if the switch arcs, if the motor is worn, and the brushes produce a spark, hey, possibly a wire that is touching ground that is arcing, the hook will protect the circuit and the technician. This way, the technician can decide to override this mode or investigate before doing damage, possibly creating an unsafe condition. After you've identified that no unsafe condition or possibly this condition is normal for the circuit, just switch to Power Plus mode. Once in Power Plus mode, you can supply current to the circuit without arc detection mode. Let's see how to get into this mode, Power Plus mode. So, we're going to press the select button. We're going to press the plus button once. Next, press the select button. We can see the Power Plus min and max is on here. We press the select button. Notice that while in this mode, the top is the average, the lower right corner is the maximum, and the lower left corner is the minimum. Watch as we supply uh, power to the fan circuit here. By, okay, okay. So, as I stated, this is the average, it's the minimum, and the maximum current. Keep in mind, with it off, I have the minimum and maximum has stayed there. If I want to reset that, I just press the hot shot button and that resets my min and max. Now, just as a side note, you can get the same screen for volts and ohms. Just press the select button, like I did, and go up or down using the plus or minus until you see either voltmeter or ohmmeter and press select. And you're in. Press select again, and you're backed out. Please keep in mind that while in the voltmeter or ohmmeter mode, the hook will not supply power or ground to the tip. You must be in power probe hook mode to supply battery, voltage, or ground to the tip. Now, the next time you hear that fast toggle tone, you know what to do. Now we're going to discuss the relay test harness that you've located in your case. Let me show you how to connect it. First, we're just going to lift up on the tab. I'm going to plug the harness right in. That's how you connect it to the hook. Let me show you what it's doing so that you understand. We're going to connect the black harness to the green harness. And you're going to see the green negative illuminates. When we connect the red to the black, you can see that the positive illuminates. So basically, it's a continuity tester. Now, with that basic understanding, let's show you how it all works. What I have prepared for you today is a picture of the electrical diagram of a relay, the bottom view of a relay, and an actual relay. So if we take a look, we see this terminal 30 is the common terminal that will go from the normally closed, normally open contacts. That's where we would connect the black lead would feed that, those two terminals, and then the red and green would go to the normally open and normally closed contacts. So let's take the relay, and with the knowledge that we've learned, Let's just go ahead. We're going to connect the black, which is the common, the other two connectors, the red and green, to normally open and normally close contacts. And we can see we already have the red LED is illuminated. One of my contacts, the normally closed contacts, is showing. So now, 
We're going to go to the primary with the auxiliary lead and with the tip to the other primary. We can see that we have resistance, which means that the solenoid is not open. If the solenoid had been open, it would be bad. If you have a spec for this, use it. Otherwise, just activate. And look at what's happening. As I go back and forth and I power the relay, I can see that my normally open and normally closed contact LEDs are switching back and forth. And I can hear and see the relay is, is, uh, is switching on and off. So we have now tested all aspects of this relay. Just keep in mind that not all relays are built the same. You need to check to make sure that the relay that you're working on works just in the same format as this one does. They usually have a schematic right here on the side. So you just need to check that configuration. I'd like to thank you for watching the video and I invite you back to powerprobe.com to see future videos on all our products and the hook. And as always, this is Jeff Kogan telling you, it's time to get out there and fix some cars.